It took four years, not eight, four years for the victim game season two to come out. If there is a season three, I don't think I could wait till 2020. Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon reviewing the Victims Game Season 2. This is a Taiwanese cop show about a, a cop with Asperger's, and if I'm saying that correctly, who has a daughter, and that daughter, if you watch Season 1, was helping people commit suicide. Now she wants to live. She's trying to have a simple life, but has this controlling dad, even though the dad, like I said, is Asperger's, and he's not trying to control. He's just trying to start a relationship with her because he just doesn't know how, but while this is all happening, his mentor, a cop who passed away, his case file, 15 years ago, has come to life because they think they've fabricated evidence. And now they got to figure out why these seven people are dying in grotesque ways. So, do you like this show? Yes, this is such a smartly written show. Even though it's like season one, or episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and season eight does do like a but it kind of saves itself at the very end for what they're trying to do with this ring. So I'm very intrigued where this is going to go because it does open up a door of where I did not expect the show to go. And what the show also does is good twist and turns. Where I think it was episode 6 where I finally realized, hmm, I think that character's involved and I was correct. However, if it did take me 6 episodes to figure this out, Bravo on the writing for this show. So when we talk about the pauses, the gore. When it comes to the people getting jumped off a bridge, or sorry, a building, and they hit the cement, you have eyes getting gouged out. You have throats getting popped out. You have, you know, people getting drained of blood. You have gunshot wounds. It is the one where someone gets thrown off the roof, right? Because every time I see a thrown off the roof autopsy, you're just like, hmm... How does that face still look that way? Because if you're falling 10-ish stories, there's no way your face is somewhat intact. Even if you've, like, fallen your legs, you're still going to have something fucked up with your face. This one, the face is fucked up. It's not like I'm saying Bravo that they showed realism, but it's, it's something that you're like, thank God that they're showing some actual realistic gore of what is happening. And like I said, even with the first one, the gore is as top notch and is truly, truly all inspiring. It's also the wrong word. Anyway, when we talk about these characters, you do get a little bit more depth with the reporter who's now part of this foundation. Like I said, the forensic analysis, these cops, and you have these new prosecutors that are involved, like with the ring. And I thought they were a very good um, character to put in the show because it got me guessing. Because you're like, okay, this prosecutor just wants to open this case up because the cop is dead and there's his mother out there. Okay, cool. Now the guy with Asperger's is like kind of freaking out. He's like, no, he's my mentor. There's nothing he did wrong. There's nothing he did wrong. There's nothing he did wrong. And there's good dynamics with these characters of like, oh, are they good or bad? Oh, are they good or bad? And I was second guessing because even especially the prosecutor episode, you're like, you're a dick. I know for a fact you are sleazy and you are going to do something. But then something happens and you're like, Huh, okay, are you second guessing that if you're doing the right thing or not? Especially with this ring. And then something else happens and you're thinking, huh, is he actually being realistic? But then something happens at the very end and you go, oh. So there is some interesting gangster deviance happening because this is going to blow open. And I'm very intrigued where this show is going to go. But I'm also nervous where this show is going to go because I go into the victim's game wanting to watch these brutality serial killers and get revenge. This now, I'm not going to say it's going uh, conventional, but I wonder where it's going to go because either they're going to continue with this serial killer route of this fucked up shit, or then now they're going to go in this more route of opening up more cases and figuring things out and having these bad people come out of jail and restart these organizations and just give Taiwan a shit sandwich storm 101. Also, like I said, there's good character dynamics with the cop, the reporter, the daughter, and everything involved. Like I said, if I have to give one-ish negative, it is me wondering where the show's going to go. Also, 
if there is a season three, I can't wait four years. Yes, I understand that came out in 2020, COVID happened, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think they filmed this in 2022. Fine, but why did it take two years to release? That's no bueno for this person. I need it sooner. Kind of like Sweet Home, even though Sweet Home was horrible, it took like two ish, 18 months to get here. So please come out by the end of 2025, early 2026, even though I think about that and that kind of scares me because time. Every day, it freaks me out. Time. I don't like time. But anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm having an anxiety attack right now. Anyway, Victim's Game, Season 2. Great story. Good twists and turns. Good characters. Interesting premise where this story is going to go. And I'm very intrigued on where Season 3 is going to take us. So the Victim's Game, Season 2, will receive a 4.5 out of 5 with futons, which equals that 90%. And again, the biggest, weakest, the biggest, weakest, the weakest link is episode 8, trying to get to the ending. But the ending, ending, ending does give me go, hmm. So, Cricks, new scores. Let's figure this sucker out together. So, we got zeros. I'm the first one. Woo, woo. All right. 90%. Chase Leak here with the Blue Futon. I comment, subscribe. I don't think Blue Tontopia. You Blue Tonys, thank you for watching a great day. I'm going to watch this tomorrow week, tomorrow month, or a year front, every single freaking one of you. And if you, seriously, if you want to watch a good Chinese or Ta- Taiwanese, John Cena, it's from Taiwan. John Cena, it's from Taiwan.